After a marathon eight-week session, Malawi's parliament in Lilongwe rose indefinitely on Friday, July 15, after passing a record high 1.3 trillion national budget for the 2016-2017 fiscal year. The House passed a total of 25 government bills and one private member's bill. Both sides of the House seem to agree that its conduct was generally good. As leader of the House, George Chaponda attests. I am so happy with the way that the things went. There was an approval of 1.3 trillion national budget, which was approved after thorough scrutiny uh, of the budget and examination of vote by vote. Some of the votes were highly contentious, but uh, all in all, it was very good. Leader of People's Party in Parliament, Uladi Musa, was not so upbeat. He said, although he was generally happy with the conduct of parliamentarians as they debated the budget and bills, he wished that more resources could have been allocated to sensitive areas such as agriculture. But money we allocated to this, very, very little. That's where we're also not happy about, because that means that hunger will go on and on. I'm very glad that we have passed the, the, the copyright uh, society bill. Where we have, where not happened, the bill is a land bill. We have seen everybody in the rural areas will be paying fee to Malawi government. Leader of opposition in the House, Lazarus Chakwera, who is also president of the Malawi Congress Party, believes that this time around, the House raised the debate bar. This way, Parliament is going in the right direction, so he declares. We raised the bar somewhat. We cannot be 100% satisfied, but we believe we are moving in the right direction in terms of providing a great debate. However, Chakwera has a different view on how government is handling former president. It is clear to me that government has spent and continues to spend a lot of money. We believe that they would have concluded this case expeditiously, and if they are failing to conclude this case, we cannot afford to continue to waste so much resources. But at the same time, I'm calling for a national conversation. What kind of nation are we becoming? If we will make it a practice that leaders be treated this way. So you have on one hand a president that is in and out of court for over 10 years. On the other hand, you have a former president that is outside the country. For Nation Online, this is Samuel Chunga reporting from Parliament Building.